Hey guys, my name is Attempster. Today I'm going to show you guys this awesome new plugin I found uh, for GIMP. It lets you make uh, normal maps, specular maps, um, actually generates heaps of different ones. You can put them all together, use them in the game engine, use them in cycles, use them in the normal render, and yeah, they look really great. And I thought I'd show you guys. So, um, you go to this website here, there'll be a link in the description, don't worry. Um, on the website you'll see Windows installation instructions, there's also some for Ubuntu and uh, I'm guessing there's some for Mac as well. We'll be going over how to install it anyway. Down here you'll see the different file types it will export out to, so it has a key for what one's which one. So you can use that when you're putting the textures together, then if you scroll further down there's some samples of each one, what it sort of looks like and at the bottom there's the download. So we're going to download that top one right there, the .exe. It's only like 35 kilobytes, so it should download relatively fast. Then you're going to go into your computer, you're going to go to the C drive, users, user, and you're going to go to GIMP 2.8 and go to plugins. Then you're going to open up the file you downloaded, you're going to extract it out, so click Extract to and then Desktop and click OK. It will extract out. You can quit that, minimize those two windows and drag it into your plugins. I've already got one in there so I can just click Cancel but you're going to drag it in there. Then next what we're going to do is we're going to open up, up GIMP. Then it should take a little bit longer to load as it loads in that one file but after that it should load up. Then if you go along to Filters, under Map, there should be a little plugin that says insane bump which is right there so we're going to put it to good use we're going to go ahead to cgtextures.com and we're going to find ourselves a nice texture to use this on I'm just going to select a brick texture and a less linear one so medieval looks quite nice and I'm going to go down and I think mixed works best for this so I'm going to click on that and the first one looks quite nice so I'm going to click on that, that will open up the window you click on the first one and if you have an account that will log in and download that for you then you can minimize it, drag the texture onto your desktop or where you want all the other files to be then go back into GIMP, click file, open Go to desktop, select the texture you just put on, click open, and there you go, you can move your tools around, and then we're going to go over to filter, map, and we're going to select insane bump. Now, lots and lots of settings here, you can remove lighting, make it HD, tile it, all these different things you can muck around with. AO you might want to muck around with at the bottom, ambient occlusion, but when you're done with that you can just click execute and that little progress bar at the bottom should start moving around. If you see on the top corner you can see GIMP making lots and lots of different files. If you keep it on a desktop there should be files appearing there as well. When it's done though that progress bar will be at the full. You can just click close and you can just quit GIMP. You don't need to save anything. So we can close GIMP now, we're done, and you can see it's got lots and lots of different files. So there's displacement maps, specular, uh, diffuse, all these different ones. So I'm going to show you how to use them in Blender. We're going to go File, New, or Open Up Blender, File, New, delete the cube, press Shift A. Then we can press S to scale the cube, and we've got up here, change it to Blender Game. You can use it in another engine if you want to. GLSL. Uh, frame rate to 60, go into texture view, add a new material, call it, I just call it texture, then turn the specularity off, no back facing, give it a texture in the texture tab, click new, select image or movie, this is just going to be a diffuse map, so you can select UV, just leave the default stuff on, it's fine, then click open, go to your desktop, select the original texture, then press tab, U, unwrap, and then tab again to go out of edit mode. I'm just going to press SY, make it a bit more proportioned, and something like that looks very nice. 
So we're going to add another one. This one's going to be specular, so I'm going to call it specular. Along the bottom, press enter, change it to image or movie, UV, and we're going to scroll down, uncheck color, and select all three under specular. Make sure you've got all three selected. It's the important part. Then go ahead and open up the image that has S just before the .jpg. So that is this one here. If you look at the title at the very end, it has an S just before the .jpg. Open that up. That's your specular map. And now if you move the plane around or you go ahead and move the light around, you can see it's sort of affecting the text and certain parts are more shiny than others. Which looks quite nice. Um, moving on, next we're going to add a image or movie UV, and this is going to be the normals. So we can make that a bit bigger, turn color off, and check normal. I'm just going to turn it down to 0.1 for now, but we're going to turn it up later. Then we're going to click open. There's four textures here. The first one is LN for large normal, HN for high normal. M in for medium and the last one's just ordinary so we're just going to select ordinary for this one and it will look something like this we're going to call it normal in the texture tab and we're going to scroll down under image sampling and select normal map it'll look a lot different to what we had open before but then scroll down and under geometry map the normal something around 0.6 I found looked quite nice depending on the texture you might need to muck around with that a bit more then after you've done that, you can minimize it, move back up to the texture tab, click new, add one last one. This one's going to be ambient occlusion, so AO, then image or movie, go to UV. You can leave the color on, we're going to open up the AO, so you're going to go to your desktop, and we're going to make that bigger. This texture has the A, just before the .jpg, for AO, and it appears to be the second one, with the A after it, so open that up. Scroll down and muck around with the color, make sure it's on multiply, and um, so you can get it more accurate. And then move the color up a little bit, I think around 0.4 worked nicely for me. So, there we go, there's a finished result. Very, very nice looking texture. I uh, hope you guys like the tutorial. All the links in the description. If you found it helpful, feel free to share, like, leave a comment. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.